Hey ladies, thanks for joining us today. Do you ever feel so spread thin from pouring yourself into your kids, into your marriage, or into other relationships that you really just cannot find time for yourself? Today we're going to be giving you our top seven self-care tips. Number one, prioritize your sleep. As a working mom and now being a stay-at-home mom, sleep was one of the most important things I can do. Remember, if you're not sleeping, you're not gonna be able to be the best mom you can be because you're gonna get grumpy, you'll have a shorter temper with the kids. So by you prioritizing your own sleep is really making you a better mom for your kids. Number two, eat. It may sound super basic, but as a mom of four under four, sometimes I forget to eat until like noon and I'm miserable and I'm shaking and I'm super grumpy and I can't figure out why I have a headache and it was literally because I forgot to eat that whole morning. So just remember, even though your kids are fed, you need to make sure that you are fed too. Even if that means having a smoothie for yourself as you're settling the kids down for lunch, just so that you have something in you and so that you have something to run off of. Number three, make sure that you find a community of moms that you can get together with. Whether that means choosing a mom or a few moms to meet with regularly, like once a month, or whether it's a mom's group, like MOPS. You can meet with them and that's a good time to get rejuvenated. Number four, use your self-care time to start a project or to gain a new hobby. If you wanna to learn to knit, look up YouTube channels and teach yourself how to knit. Spend that self-care time organizing your kids' photos into photo books for them. Just make sure whatever you choose, it actually energizes you. Like for me personally, I love organizing the house. Um, and so when we moved in, it's not like every single drawer is organized, so it's just a project that I've been working on and I really get joy out of it and it really energizes me the end result. Some hobbies that really energize me are reading, playing games, even just taking a shower. So that's how I spend my self-care time. Number four, make sure you spend time in God's Word. That is one of the most important things that I have found as a mom that energizes me the most. I think it resets my mood, it resets my heart, and it just puts my heart and my mind set on the right thing. How I spend time with God is I really enjoy Bible journaling and I also really enjoy prayer journaling. Number six, exercising. It can really give you a lot of energy and it's really important to get moving, to get your heart rate up, and to make sure that you stay healthy so that you have energy for your kids, for your marriage, and everything else. If you don't have time to go to a gym or to do a formal exercise program, you can take a nature walk with the kids. You can look up a fun YouTube video. I really enjoy blog -a -lotties. Even just putting on music and dancing with your kids is a really good way to get active. Number seven, get out of your pajamas. Put on makeup if that's your thing. Just make yourself feel good. Yeah, make sure you're dressed for success. If somebody stops by, you're ready for them. And it totally makes you feel different about yourself. You feel like you're ready to conquer the day. Remember that self-care will look different for everyone. Do whatever energizes you. I think it's really important to realize that every single person is gonna have a different time. Some will have in the morning, some will have at night, some will be able to carve it out during the day, but it's just important to find that time. And honestly, don't feel like if you're a morning person and you tend to do it in the morning, don't feel like if you missed one morning that you need to skip it or don't let it throw off your day. Just find another time during the day or just start fresh the next day. Mamas, if you have any other self-care tips, please feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Say number one. Do it. Finger. Number one. No, not like that. Start now. <laughs> number one. <laughs> no! Put the numbers no. out. And write it at the bottom. No. Say number one. Number <laughs> one. <laughs> number one. I was still talking. <laughs> This is us. <laughs>